but there remains a significant barrier to establishing a colony. How will we humans cope physically and mentally? Zubrin's Mars Society has an experiment based on his Mars Direct Plan, deep in the Utah desert. This is the road to a Mars analog station. What they're doing out here is they're simulating living on Mars as, as closely as they can. And um, so what they've done, apparently, is that they've left a spacesuit and a backpack and a helmet and a radio system and all the things you would have if you're living on Mars uh, out in the desert. And I've got to stop the car, put it on and go into full simulation mode because they live there for weeks at a time and the, the job is to practice being a settler on Mars and to be honest it doesn't look too dissimilar to Mars. Excellent. I assume that on the actual mission we've been trained to do this. Humans on a mission to Mars would have to endure close confinement with their crew members, along with extreme isolation from the rest of humanity. Hi Brian, we see you walking towards us. Do you copy? And the minimum mission length would be around two years. Yes, I do copy. You want me to approach the airlock and get in? Over? Exactly. Over. This crew habitation okay, module do. has been built to explore these psychological pressures as well as the practical challenges. And the major donor to fund its construction? Elon Musk. I see you're all in the airlock and the door is closed, so I'll start pressurization, so three minutes. The current inhabitants, engineering students from France and Belgium, are two and a half weeks into their three-week simulation. In reality, on Mars, the, the, the air would be rushing in now, the pressure would be rising. Like every crew that stays, they undergo psychological assessment throughout. And three minutes. 